Okay guys, we are almost into July, so we are fast approaching hunting season. Um, so for me, at the end of September, I'm gonna be in Montana um, hunting, hunting elk. So I'm in the process of, uh, you know, getting all my gear dialed in, getting my bow, you know, perfectly dialed in, all that kind of stuff. And I'm also getting my defense pistol dialed in as well. Uh, you know, my bear defense pistol, testing some different ammos, taking it to the range, getting comfortable with it because this thing needs to be ready to go if I, if I have to use it. God forbid, I hope I never do. It's there for a reason and I want to be proficient with it if I do need to use it. So with that being said, uh, what I have here is my, my pistol. It's a Springfield XDM Elite in 10 millimeter and I have a Streamlight TLR1 uh, light on it. This is an awesome setup. I, I really like this pistol. I usually don't like striker fired pistols, to be honest. I'm more of a 1911 guy, but I wanted to go with something in 10 millimeter and something with a high capacity. So this has 16 rounds in the magazine, um, one in the chamber, and it's it's relatively lightweight and it's it's just a good firearm. So this is this is my pistol that I will be carrying in a Kenai chest holster when I'm out hunting in Montana this fall. I've shot a couple different loads of ammo, just kind of testing this out. The regular 180 ball ammo, range ammo. This gun, it shoots, it's really smooth. You can shoot it really fast. The recoil is not bad at all, to be honest. I was shocked by that. But once you step up into heavier grain loads, particularly some of these outdoorsman's loads, you know, the recoil can get a little bit, a little bit more stout. Still manageable, but definitely more snappy. So what I'm, what I'm gonna be testing in the next, next few weeks uh, before I make my final decision on the ammo that I'm going to be carrying is which of these two rounds, I've kind of narrowed it down to these two rounds, is going to be the best option for me to carry uh, hunting in Montana. So the two rounds are Buffalo Boar 10 millimeter Outdoorsman. This is the 220 grain load. This is the, uh, the most powerful and the heaviest load that they carry. It's hard cast. It's saying we're getting 1,200 feet per second and uh, 703 foot-pounds of energy. So this is these loads pack a wallop um, and, and would be an excellent choice if you're going to be hunting in, in grizzly bear territory. The other load, which is a little bit lighter, is the Underwood, and this is the 200 grain hard cast flat nose ammo. I've shot Underwood ammo uh, hard cast for my 9mm. I haven't shot it for the 10mm, so this will be my first time. Uh, so this will be my first time testing these out. So it's going to be these kind of in a head to head. Obviously, the 220 grain from Buffalo Boar is going to pack a bigger wallop. So I'm not really going to be testing that, you know, penetration, anything like that. I'm really just going to be testing my accuracy and how fast I can, I can shoot these rounds. So we'll see. Um, if, if this heavy load, this the 220 grain from Buffalo Boar is comparable in accuracy, um, then I'm going to go with the heavier load. If I am way more accurate with this Underwood because it's, it's a 200 grain, it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more manageable, more comfortable, then I'm going to go with the 200 grain. Um, you know, a lot of people say that the 10 millimeter was designed for 180 grain uh, ammo, which, which it was. And with that being said, that some of the ammo that is closer to 180 grain feeds better, is more reliable. So in theory, this 200 grain ammo would be more reliable than this 220 grain. That being said, I've put um, several mags of this, this heavy uh, 220 grain through this XDM and I have not had any issues whatsoever. So reliability, I feel confident with this. Um, so. It, this test really just boils down to how I feel shooting it, how comfortable I am shooting it, and which one is is more accurate. Or if there's not, if, if the difference is negligible, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to the heavy stuff. Um, so let's get right into it. Let's test it out.
Okay, so we just got back from the range with the Springfield XDM, testing out the Buffalo Bore 220 grain hard cast uh, up against the Underwood 200 grain hard cast uh, ammo. So some interesting results here. Uh, the way that I kind of tested this, and this is by no means a scientific measure of which ammo is better, um, this is just how I wanted to test it to uh, make a decision on what I'm going to be carrying in the backwoods this hunting season. So the way that I tested this was I did five shots with both ammos, um, just slow fire, just, just regular five shots, trying to hit the target, trying to get points. I did a few rounds of that and the real test that I wanted to look at was to do rapid fire. So then I did two separate rounds of, of five round bursts, just fast rapid fire uh, with, with each with each ammo. And I kind of like, the, these are archery targets. These are just like Vegas, Vegas face targets. Um, but you know, the different rings have different points and but I, I find these to be really good pistol targets as well. So for the slow five round shots, I use the, the three face Vegas and then for the five round uh, full burst, you know, full speed, I use the larger face Vegas targets. Pretty straightforward. Um, and I was shooting uh, somewhere between seven and 10 yards. So it was a little bit past seven, I think it was eight or nine yards. So close range, but if, if I have to use this, that's probably where, it's probably where the business is gonna happen. So, you know, seven to 10 yards. So just going through the results here, I was actually really surprised. The recoil between the 220 grain Buffalo bore and the Underwood 200 grain was very negligible. Um, you could feel the Buffalo bore had a little bit more power behind it, but as far as snap or as far as like feeling a sting in your hand, there's really no difference. And honestly, the first time I shot the 220 grain Buffalo bore, it was like 25 degrees outside and I did kind of feel a, not really a not really a bad sting, but you do you do feel the snap, and I did not feel that indoors uh, at all. So it was it was really smooth, which was nice. But so let's look at these results here. Okay, all right. So first round slow fire five shots at the buffalo boar, pretty good. My group is a little bit low except for that one that I tried to compensate for, which is a little higher. Score of 42. Next, I did Underwood five rounds. Group is a little bit low. And one of my shots was, was about two or three inches lower than the target, so it didn't even make it on the target, so that's a miss. Um, so not my best shooting there. Next round again, five rounds with the Buffalo Boar. Score of 42. The final slow round, Underwood 200 grain, a little bit better, um, a score of 43. Okay, now we got into the rapid fire. So it was two separate rounds of five shot rapid fire. So the first one was Underwood. With the Underwood, I got a score of 52. Then with the Buffalo Boar here, did actually much better, a score of 69. So based on the results, I was actually really surprised that I was more accurate with the more powerful round. I was anticipating that, that I'd be a little bit more accurate with the Underwood and it would be easier to control. And that was kind of the idea of this test to see if, if that was a better choice to go with that kind of little bit lighter round and see if I could shoot it better. But actually it was the opposite. Um, I, sh I shot the Buffalo Boar considerably better and it's got more power. So for me, it's kind of a no brainer. I'm gonna stick with the Buffalo Boar 220 grain hard cast. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. If you, if you like the content you're seeing on this channel, please like and subscribe. We're gonna have plenty more content based around the outdoors and target shooting and all that stuff. So please like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. Um, after, after testing these, I know which one I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna go with the Buffalo Boar. Uh, thanks guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.